Okay, this is MF paper 1, SPM 2014, question number 4. Alright, in this question, this question will say, okay, diagram 4, actually this diagram 4, show the graph of the quadratic function. Okay, so you have the graph of quadratic, and then you have an equation. This fx equals to x minus 3, holding bracket square, minus 25. Alright, so for this chapter, of course, I, uh, you have to understand about completing the square. You have to understand the uh, how to get a maximum point or minimum point from the equation. Alright, and then you also need to know how to get the acid symmetric from the equation as well as yeah, you understand how to sketch the graph. Okay, so if you're not sure how to do this, you can go to find out my video called Completing the Square. Alright, so before I start to show you how to do A, B and C, I'm going to teach you some basic about how to solve the question like this. Okay, so first thing is, I will give you the gen gen uh, the general equation for completing the square. Okay, I'm going to call it the equation of completing the square. Okay, I write the short form. So you have the equation of completing the square is y equals to a x minus h square plus k. Okay, a over here is deciding your graph is maximum or minimum. All right, it's very important. If a if a is less than zero, it is maximum. If a is bigger than zero, like this case, a is positive one, so it's like invisible. You you didn't say you didn't see any value here. Mean actually is positive one. Positive one mean bigger than zero. One is more than zero, isn't it? So you will see you have the minimum point here. Okay, if let's say you have a negative here, mean your graph will look like n. So you have a maximum graph over here, a uh, maximum graph over there. All right, and then no matter is maximum or minimum, no matter is maximum or minimum, the way you take out the coordinate is always the same. The coordinate will be x coordinate you take inside the bracket. You always will see something square, a bracket square. So the x coordinate you take it, uh, from inside here. So in this case, you see x minus h, right? So you, you just use your imagination. If x minus h equals 0, what is your x coordinate? x will equals to h. So your x coordinate will be h. Alright, and your y coordinates is very simple. You straight away take the last one. So in this case, it's k. Okay, no matter the maximum or minimum, the way you take out the, mid, the coordinate is always the same. Remember, no matter maximum or minimum, the way you take out the coordinate is always the same. Alright, so in so in order to make sure you understand, I will give you an example. Okay, let's say I write randomly give you an example. So negative 2, uh, x minus 4 square plus 7. So first thing, the negative 2 over here will tell me that my graph actually is maximum. Because what? Because it's negative 2 is less than 0. If less than 0 means it is maximum. Right, and then I know my maximum coordinate. You just imagine x minus 4 is equal to 0, x is equal to 4. So it's 4. And the y coordinate is straight away take from the last, last place here, the only constant value here, 7. Simple. Alright, so you have to understand how how you take the coordinate. Okay, just one more example before we go to question. Let's say y equals to 7, uh, x plus 9, square minus 2. So, first thing when I see 7, this is positive value. So I know this is my minimum coordinate. And my minimum coordinate, you just assume x plus 9 equals to 0, x will equal to negative 9. Alright, and then last number is negative 2, you just do negative 2. Alright, this is how we take the coordinate. Sometimes I teach my student is, whenever you see this symbol is positive, here will be negative. Whenever you see symbol here is negative, here will be positive. Yeah, you, you can remember either one of the way. Both is correct. Alright, and then one more thing is exit symmetric. No matter it's maximum or minimum, the exit symmetric always take from inside this bracket. Okay, so if x minus h is inside the bracket, this one is exit symmetric. This one is exit symmetric. Alright, 
So in this case, if x minus 4 is inside the bracket square, so what is your axis symmetric in this case? x equals to 4. That means this is your axis symmetric. Like this case, x plus 9 is inside the bracket. Your axis symmetric for this case will be x equals to negative 9. Okay, how I know this axis symmetric? If you understand about this graph, you can easily understand how, how I get axis symmetric. So for example, okay, I just a ra random one. Uh, let's say x minus 4 squared plus 7. So this one, my graph is roughly like this. You're passing 4 and 7 for the minimum. Okay, this is, let's say, this is 4 and 7 according to my graph. Okay, obviously, uh, oops, obviously your x axis is over here. Alright, so x is symmetric, is, it will always passing through the x value of minimum point. Do you see that? Actually, this line, it cut through the 4 here. 4, 7 means this is 4, this is 7, isn't it? So you're passing through the 4 here. So the question asks, what is this equation? We know equation parallel to y axis, it will just x equals to 4. This is how we get the axis symmetry. Alright, because axis symmetrics for the quadratic is always passing through the x value. Just remember, always passing through the, the uh, x value. Let's say the question gives you the maximum point is negative 7, 2. And then the question asks you about exit symmetry. So you just write the exit symmetric is x equals to negative 7. We always passing through the x value. Right. If you understand about all this, we're going to go into the question here. Okay, so you have the graph. I hope now you roughly understand about this equation. So the question asks you to state. Whenever you see the word state, mean you can straight away write out the answer without the working. State the coordinate of the minimum point of the curve. So from here, obviously, it's minimum point. So if I want to write out the minimum coordinates, it's very easy. I say, if this is x minus 3, assume the opposite symbol, this is negative 3, so this one is positive 3. And then straight away, y value, take the last one, negative 25. Done. Alright, and then the question asks you to state the equation of the axis symmetric of the curve. So that means you will have one axis symmetric here. Since you know this coordinate, the x value is 3, right? So this axis symmetric is x equals to 3. I can do this without actually drawing out the axis symmetric because I know my x value here will be 3. Alright, and then the last one. State the range of the values of x when fx is negative. When fx is negative mean, okay, this is fx. When fx is negative mean below here. Below here, fx is negative, isn't it? Like this one, fx will be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Above the x acid, the x axis will be positive. So whenever they say fx is negative, some information you must understand mean below the x acid. Alright, so below the x acid, it will be, why is the range, why is the range value for x? Well, x will from, will from negative 2 to 8. So my x will actually from negative 2 to 8. That's all. This is the range of values of x. Okay, so whenever the question asks you to state, I think all is the just one mark question. Okay, this question is not really hard, but then you really need to understand the general equation for completing the square. This is a general equation. Y equals to A bracket X minus H squared plus K. Alright, just remember the general equation and understand how to get your maximum or minimum. Anyways, thanks for watching.